Renovating on a budget was the top priority for the Tuck family in Long Eaton, Derbyshire, who we met back in 2017, as the race to make space in their three-bed semi had turned their home into a battleground. We're on the verge of divorce, aren't we? No, don't say that. <laughs> oh, we're not really. For civil engineer Jess Tuck, this three-bedroom Victorian semi is the forever home. I'm team love it all the way. This house has so much potential. I've really nested here and I feel like this is our family home now. I'm pretty determined to stay. But husband and purchasing manager Andy has practically packed his bags. I think we need to move. I think we need to move on. He bought this house for £137,000 10 years ago when it was just him and his daughter, Amelie, who stays with them three nights a week. But since marrying Jess, it's all been a bit of a squeeze with the arrival of baby Finn. He's already taken over the dining room. Meal times here are a nightmare. There's stuff everywhere. Like, to get the t we get the table out, we have to clear all the toys away. And the table's back so the kids can play again. So it's, it's, it doesn't quite work for us at the minute. With plans for another baby, Jess has designs for the house. We can quite comfortably convert into the loft. We've had a look at it and it's, you know, big enough for a bedroom. We've got a house full of character in a location that's a mile and a half from both of our work. Amelie lives down the road. Um, we can walk to the park, the amenities. But canal walks and parks aren't enough for Andy. He wants to abandon the burbs for proper country living. Well, I think you've got the image of a village and rural and, you yeah. know, the countryside and green. Yeah, yeah, nice garden, nice little pub you can walk to nearby. Yeah. For a lot more money. So after four years of loving versus listing and country versus town, it's a stalemate. We do need help. Yeah, we, we need, need help. help. That's our cue. I can see lots of potential. There's over 1,100 square feet of house here, three good-sized bedrooms upstairs, and downstairs there's a sunny lounge at the front and a dining room and kitchen at the back. You've been through this kind of debate for some time, haven't you? Jess bullied me into looking for a new house for months and months and months. We found out that Jess was pregnant and she was having morning sickness, and then every time she thought about moving, she felt sick. So I got geared up to move into a new house. I Jess said, no, out. I'm not going. <laughs> this, is, this is very interesting. It's well, genuinely... I haven't got a chance, have I? No, no but it's, it's very <laughs> Medically <interesting>. unable <laughs> to move. Well, Kirsty, looking around, this house doesn't work as a forever home for a family of four and possibly five. I'm not saying anything until I've seen the bedrooms. Yeah, it's a really big room, this, with great ceiling height. Finley's room, it's decent size. Yes, and the other bedrooms are nice and big. So spending all their budget creating a fourth bedroom could be a mistake. But they do want more children, Kirst. Yeah, but it's fine. Well, it's not fine because they haven't got enough bedrooms. They have got enough bedrooms. Children share, Phil. Well, they've asked for another bedroom. They haven't asked for another bedroom. You, they didn't ask for another bedroom. I think Absolutely they not. No, they didn't. They asked for more space. It's not the same as asking for another bedroom. Andy and Jess have put aside a 30 grand budget for a loft conversion. However, after sending in our cameras to record a normal working day, we discovered that the family spend a staggering 70% of their time in the cramped kitchen and separate dining room. And less than 20% upstairs. This house could feel top-heavy if they added another bedroom without creating more ground-floor living space first. A change of tack could also save them cash. The average loft conversion costs as much as 35 grand, but I could keep to a budget of 20,000 by focusing instead on remodeling the downstairs. OK. Right, yeah, well, that's... Oh. Oh. What have you done? Smashing up the place. <laughs> yeah, you're not allowed to knock it down yet. Sorry. If they're prepared to let a potential second baby share with Big Brother Finn, my plan is to open up the rooms downstairs, where our cameras found the family spends 70% of their time. I just hope they're brave enough. This is your current house. This is what your kitchen could look like. Ooh. That's a bifold door here. With a budget of 20 grand, my plan is to create a spacious, modern, open-plan kitchen diner by knocking down the cupboard that currently divides the two rooms and switching the new kitchen into the old dining room. There'll be space here for the seating area that Jess craves 
and big new bifold doors means the old kitchen will become a bright sunny dining area. No more moving the table in and out as there'll be room for everyone in a layout that uses the whole of the downstairs. A baby and a toddler and a teenager in our little living room. Yeah. You're right. It's... It doesn't no, work. Doesn't no. Work. no. So, so well, this everyone's is... spread out through hit well yes. through that. Yeah. Does work. This becomes more more of a kitchen, sitting room, dining room. I'm not scared by that at all. No, I'm not. I like it, Kirsty. I wasn't expected to be so impressed. The build is now finished and they've had some time to live in the house in all its glory, so they can make the decision whether to sell up or settle in. Right. Feeling fit? Yes. I'm confident that we've done the best with it that we can. Yes. I haven't seen what you've done yet. Yeah, well, I think you'll, I think you'll be presently surprised. Oh, here they are. Oh, well. Good to see you. Hello. Hello. Yeah, everyone's looking very cheery, Phil. Come on in and have a look. Game over, if you ask me. <laughs> I can't wait for Phil to see the transformation downstairs. By uniting the dining room and the kitchen, the space is revolutionised. Taking down the internal dividing wall has created a roomy and stylish open plan living area. Oh. Oh. Jeez, oh. that looks that looks very smart indeed. I it's different, it. isn't it? It is. Very, very different. The old days of tripping over each other in the awkward galley kitchen are long gone. By switching the rooms around and fitting fabulous new units in the old dining room instead, my layout is much more family friendly. It doesn't feel like two rooms at all. It feels like one was no. always supposed to yeah. be like this. Helped by continuing the floorboards across the two rooms and painting it all with the same chalk paint that we chose together. And I really like this colour. What really I like love it. about this colour is that it 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 ties in with the wood of the surface yeah. and above the above the stove. It's not cold. It's not at all cold. I've got to say, Jess, congratulations. It really works. It all looks a million dollars, but their biggest expense was the £4,700 spent on the structural alterations. In fact, they were so canny with their cash that they came in nearly two grand under their 20 grand budget and even stretched their funds to remove a wall in the bathroom and install a new roll-top bath. That is money well spent, but is the change enough to make them stay? Knowing that there are other things out there that you can afford uh, and knowing that you guys would like to expand the family, can you do that here? It could work long term. I think so. Mm. And it works now, definitely. Yeah. So and if it, we'd have done upstairs and not done this, then I think we'd be... You'd have had to move, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah. So it's very delicately poised, which brings us to, to the question. question. Are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? We absolutely love it, don't we? We love it. But ultimately, we're going to list. Oh! <laughs> now? No, in like yeah. two to three years is, is the plan, depending on how families progress and things. And actually, we've kind of had our eyes opened a bit to what's out there. And I yeah. had this kind of stigma attached with moving, um, which I'm not feeling at the minute. And that's, it's helped me a lot, actually. Obviously, I'm delighted, um, but was it a difficult decision? We absolutely love it. We, we genuinely yeah. love it. We love everything, how it's come together, how it's finished, how we're using it. Yeah. And we are absolutely going to enjoy it. Not a thought. But ultimately... Yeah. Um, it's not now the forever home, but it's a brilliant home, isn't it? Yeah, we do so... love it. Huh? Congratulations, Phil. I don't want to take congratulations. Well. I congratulate you <laughs> and well done, Cassie. It's beautiful. <laughs> we love it. Thank you. You see, Phil, I win whatever. <laughs> well, I actually won, but... <laughs> Believe me. <laughs>